Hey, everybody. We have a special call tonight because we just got back from our Star Diamond yacht trip, and it was so fun. So fun is an understatement. It was incredible. Otherworldly. Like, really hard to conceive of, really hard to imagine, and I was just thinking about, like, if I could curate any trip that I wanted to create, there was just so many things that happened on this trip that I would not have known were even options, had no idea that things like this even existed, that I would not have been able to add to this trip. So just like every few minutes, it was just surprise and delight. And you just, it was just mind blowing. So anyways, definitely the best trip any of us have ever been on. And Plexus always makes you think that there's no way they can top this experience. And then they top that experience. So um, we're here tonight to share with you a little bit about our experience and what the trip meant to us. And we brought our husbands so that they could share too. Um, and so I, I earned this trip as a four-star diamond. And as a four-star, you get to bring five guests with you. And so that's that's less kids than I have. And I didn't want to choose between kids. And so I picked some of my best friends and their husbands. And so um very pleased with my choices. We had a great time. And so I think Christina and Brandon are going first. So I'm just going to turn it over to you guys. Do you feel nervous turning it over to us to start with? All right. So just to preface this, uh, Brittany and everyone, Christina sent me a whole list of talking points. And not once did it say, talk about what the yacht trip was like and what it meant to us. So uh, I'm super prepared here. I misunderstood uh, <laughs> Anyone can be a diamond in case you are wondering, like anybody. I'm sorry. He's got a lot of information he can tell you. Oh, and Brittany, to, to your opening, you're, you're very welcome for me being the one that made this trip so uh, memorable and, and uh, just awesome for you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, it was memorable. <laughs> to some of us. All right. So, so answer the question that she asked. One that she asked? Yes. All right, so listen, the, the yacht trip, like she said, I, I don't think it'll ever be, be able to be surpassed by Plexus. Um, you know, I, I, I came from a trailer. She came from the trailer park. Uh, never once would we think we'd be on a 152-foot yacht uh, that had a five-star chef, a fully trained professional oh, staff. Uh, Y'all, they, they washed our laundry for us every night. They unpacked our suitcases when we got there and they repacked them whenever it was time to leave. Never had so many people touch my underwear in my life. Uh, but the, the big thing was that they just literally catered to all of our needs, uh, leading with Brittany, because Brittany was the reason we were all there. And so, you know, we had I've never I've never been on a trip where there was so much deep discussion uh, and, and love and honesty uh, and and tears. Uh, so when you when you get to take part in things like this, and y'all, things like this happen all the time with Plexus. You don't have to be a diamond to go on the best trips of your life. I've, I've, I went on the best trip of my life, the very first trip I went on with Plexus, where I met Jeremy and Emily. Uh, so I'm telling you, if you if you've ever thought that you couldn't do this, y'all, my wife can't figure out how to close the cabinet drawers, but she figures out how to help us get on a yacht. So if you've ever thought you can't do this, believe me, you can. All you have to do is learn a couple of skill sets, be intentional with your time, uh, and really have a big why. Now, any husbands that's on here, there's one more thing that wives need. They need the skill sets, the big why, the intentionality. But husbands, they need you. They need you to be supportive. They need you to help. Uh, they need you to, to understand when, when they might spend two hours a night on the phone because that was a point of contention for us when we began. Uh, but I figured it out and look, I, I'm happy she's on the phone because every time she's on the phone, it pays the light bill or, or something else. So um, they can't do it by themselves, husband. Christina couldn't have done it by herself. Uh, so please, if your wife is thinking about doing this, be behind her 100 percent. Give her the support that she wants and needs, because, look, you'll be the one that benefits from it. I promise you when it's all said and done, you're going to be the one that goes on these fancy trips uh, gets to live in the awesome houses or drive the 
the free eighty thousand dollar Lexus. You'll you'll be able to benefit from it all as well. So support them, love them, help them, and and listen. I can't wait to see all y'all uh, on all these other trips. Uh, if if Christina and Brittany and Emily continue to allow me to come, so that's that's it. <laughs> the jury is out on that. Although this was a good redemption, that was a good did a good job. And I Thank do. You. I can close cabinets, but why would I? Because I need something out of them again soon. Why would you use a bidet? <laughs> okay. So, well, um, I misunderstood the assignment for the call tonight. So I am going to tell you what I want to tell you because that's what I wrote down my notes for. Um, so, um, okay. So it was a very special trip. We were so honored to be asked um, <laughs> the whole time. I'm like, are you so glad you brought us? And she'd say, yeah, I'm so glad. So that was good. Um, but what I want to tell you guys, because I misunderstood the assignment is why, what I thought over and over again on this yacht trip was I'm so glad I didn't quit. I'm so glad I didn't quit because there was way more, um, evidence that I probably wouldn't be able to figure this out than there ever was evidence that I probably would figure it out. Like way more. Um, I can think about the rejection. I can think about missed ranks. I can think about teams that quit me. I can think about, I mean, I get, you name it. If it can happen here, it, I mean, I managed to make it happen. And there was just so much compounding evidence that maybe, maybe I just wouldn't get it figured out, but there was always this hope that maybe I would. And the hope of maybe I will was always just slightly ahead of the fear of, but what if I don't? So they kind of coexisted for a long time, years and years and years, they kind of coexisted. And I remember just thinking like, man, but what if I do get it figured out? What if like, what if tomorrow is the breakthrough? What if tomorrow is, what if next month is the breakthrough? And so I'm just so glad I didn't quit. And what I found so exciting and interesting on the yacht trip is there were several times every dinner, there was deep conversation, but there were several times throughout the trip where I would say, Hey, what are you thinking? over and over. And oftentimes what she was thinking is also what I was thinking or what Emily was thinking is what I was thinking. Um, and so we went to this place called the washing machine in, I can't remember where it's called. Um, Emily will be able to tell us where it's called because she categorizes everything, but you basically get into this whirlpool and it shoots you out and then like sends you around like a washing machine and brings you back up. And so we did it together sometime. And then sometimes we did it by ourselves. And what was so interesting is after we all had gone like on an individual lap, we all expressed the exact same thing. Like as we're floating in this washing machine in the Bahamas, it was just like, thank you, God. Thank you that this business was presented. Thank you that somebody cared enough to get over themselves, to share an opportunity many times uh, to share it repeatedly after being told no. And that, um, that God just blessed our efforts. We never, we don't, there's not a special it factor. There's nothing that we can come and kind of tell you the secret to do this. The secret is keep trying until you get it figured out and just feeling incredibly grateful that, um, first of all, we're all in it together, right? Our whole team is in this together and, um, just the yacht, man, <laughs> the whole trip, the food, the food. I did a whole story set today on just food. Um, but it was, that was next level. I loved it. I loved just the togetherness. I think one of my favorite days was when we were all um, seasick because we were in tropical storm weather, y'all. He said tropical storm uh, wind is what? Am I over my time? Is that why you're staring at me like that? I just don't know why you're going off on such a tangent. Because I'm going to tell him about my favorite thing. Um, so tropical storms. I think tropical storm wind is th higher than 35 knots. And we were in 37, so we survived a tropical storm. But we all just kind of lounged under blankets and talked. We played card games. Um, I loved that day. I loved that day. I loved the adventuring day, but I also loved that day. And then also karaoke because these people can sing. Not me, but they all can sing. And so that was super duper fun too. And just to see people's personalities come out. You've really not seen your fierce leader perform until you see her singing uh, called Tyrone. Um, and so just to kind of get to hear that on the yacht, it was great. It was super fun. And I think another thing, and then I'm going to stop talking, was watching the guys just bond. I think in the beginning, I had this tendency to just like, let me do my own thing. He was skeptical and kind of sarcastic. And so 
but I'm so glad that um, I did bring him in forcefully at times. Like, no, I really need you to go to this event or I really want you to meet that person or kind of like, I would just ask him, please get out of your comfort zone and just make friends with these guys, you know? And he did. And now they're all besties. They like cry all over each other. It's like the best feeling. So what? they all cried. I am a stone, stoic even, but. Did you say you were stoned? <laughs> no, I wasn't stoned, stoic. Oh. Stoic. So love the whole thing. Brent, I'm so glad you're a winner so that we could come win alongside you. Um, best team. Best team. And listen, we all were on our topic of conversation many times. Like, okay, what are we going to do to help everybody get to be a star diamond? Anybody that's willing, what do we have to do to get them here? So, okay. That was, uh, hold on. That was, that was the second best testimony of the night. Good job. Thank you. Okay, Emily and Jeremy, passing it to you guys. Well, y'all can see we were entertained all week long, all week long. Um, this is exactly what was happening all week. So um, it was the best. I'm going to let Jeremy talk first, and then I'm going to come in and do my spiel. That's not what we agreed on. <laughs> it better be I'm good, still, Jeremy. I'm still kind of stuck on No uh, pressure. Don't underwear. disappoint us. Ma'am? I said no pressure, but don't disappoint us. Oh, I won't uh, try to get Christina to 15 here. Um, so. Kill me. <laughs> oh, man, where do I start? So the whole experience was phenomenal. Like I was I was trying to tell people about it today at work. And um, like it's like I it, I can't put words to it right now. It Just was. <laughs> shut up. It was it was amazing. Um, and. You know, I'm still not over the high of Hawaii. Uh, first time in Hawaii back in September. And then three weeks later, we're on this yacht, super yacht, actually. And um, with uh, some some of the most incredible people on the planet. Um, thank you again for inviting us. Very, very humbled and, um, and honored to get the privilege to go. But it was... Uh, incredible the food was amazing the staff was amazing they were like little ninjas like in and out bringing you whatever you needed before you knew you needed it um and just the the sweetest um most caring crew had a lot of fun with us threw me an incredible birthday party um and uh you know just just an amazing an amazing trip um and i just kept thinking today that <laughs> Like, was it was it all a dream? Is it was it real? Was it and it was real. And and so the so what I would say to you guys is that like it's real. It's not out of reach. If you're on this call, it is completely within reach for you right now. If you are a husband on this call, I see Nathan. I don't see anybody else. Where are all the slacker husbands at? Um, uh, there you go. Um, but uh, if you're if you are a husband and you can hear me, um, same as what Brandon said, you know, support your wife as hard and strong as you can possibly support her in this. Um, trust her all the way uh, because she's going to she's going to grind. She's going to have her ups and downs. But um, you never know. In nine years, you might be on a super yacht cruising with some of your best friends in the Caribbean on private beaches, getting to experience the, the amazing creation that God has given us to to experience um, and just be in complete awe of the whole thing and the whole. Um, I don't even know, man, it is just uh I, I I just keep going back to that time when Peter went up on the mountain of transfiguration with Jesus and was just like, it is good that we are here. And so that's what I kept thinking the whole time on the boat. Like, it is good that we are here. And it is good that we are here. But uh, just the incredible plexus has, my first trip was Dallas 2017, right? Yeah, where, you train, met Brandon. where I met Brandon and Christina um, and became a special ed sponsor. Um, the... Um, <laughs> sorry but the um the that event sold me that leaders retreat event sold me and connected us for life for sure um and uh every every time that we've gotten to meet after that has just been like we we pick up right where we le left off and so 
you know, fellas, if, you know, if you're kind of like me and you're, you know, you just go to work and do your dad and, or, and husband thing, you don't really have anybody to hang out with, Plexus brings that along too. Um, you know, I got Anthony and, and Brandon, two incredible friends, um, and don't know where I'd be without them. So hang in there, uh, ride out the low points, celebrate the high points, and and one day you'll be you'll be right right at the top, right where you want to be, inviting us on your yacht trip. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, <laughs> holy cow, this trip. Holy cow. Y'all know I'm the dreamer of the bunch. Um, that is not a surprise. So I have quite often envisioned myself on the yacht and living the bougie, you know, crazy lifestyle um, while also being completely totally normal. Um, but I never knew, like, would that actually happen? I don't know if I ever really, like, fully believed that it would happen, but I totally can envision myself there. And so when Brittany asked me what now seems like two years ago to go on the yacht, because we did wait a long time for this trip. Um, we were supposed to go back in May originally, but anyways, it worked out. We got to go on Jeremy's birthday. Um, but when she asked me, I just said yes, like immediately. There was no question. There was no when is it. There was no, well, I have to figure out the kids or I'll have to figure out this or I don't know if Jeremy can get off work. It was just like, yes, a thousand percent yes and so honored. So um, my favorite parts of the trip, um, basically Tuesday to Sunday, all my favorite, all of it. There was nothing that was not my favorite. Um we took our shoes off and left them in a little basket when we were boarding the yacht and we didn't put shoes on again until Sunday. And I really loved that. And the carpet was like walking on little clouds and every piece of wood in the boat was just so smooth and shiny. And there wasn't a grain, not even a single little grain of dirt, y'all, anywhere. You could eat off the bathroom floor. It was so clean because our little ninjas just came in everywhere and do you need a drink? Would you like a snack? Do you want some pineapple? Can we get you some chips and guacamole? Yes, yes, you can. It was all day, every day, and it was just fantastic. But the beauty of everything that we saw, um, there's just no words for it. Like, God and all his gloriousness was on full display. It was like he just went all right, I made the earth and it's beautiful and perfect, but I'm just going to go down to the Bahamas and we're going to take it up a notch. Like this is going to be the extra, extra. And that's what we got to experience this week. Um, but just the attentiveness of the crew, the luxury and attention to detail for every single thing. It was all just incredible. But I mean... I don't even know what what I kept thinking over and over. And Christina talked about us being out in the washing machine. You know, we we're all we're going at different times. And just afterward, we all had this same like we had a conversation. And we were all thinking the same thing. Like, I just can't believe this is real. And I'm so grateful. And gosh, this is amazing. And all I kept thinking was we have a vision, you know, and we have dreams and things like that. But even if our dreams feel big, they are really so limited to what is actually possible and available to us. And so uh, what I would tell y'all is whatever dreams that you have in your mind right now, go for them and go hard for them, but leave room for them to be expanded and even bigger than you can think of. Because this whole trip, every single moment was an Ephesians 3.20 moment in my life. Like 100%, exceedingly, abundantly more. That's all I kept thinking all week. Exceedingly, abundantly more. Everything. Everything. From the food. You've never had food like this in your life. I'm telling you, every meal was the right. best meal. And the food was more, the landscape and the water and the 
it was all just more being with our best friends in the world just more the conversations the laughing the karaoke watching Brittany fully face fears like head on she was terrified of several things that we did and Christina was scared of some things that we did too but just watching them like just do it because we were there and we were in the moment and they were just determined I'm going to do it I heard Brittany say that multiple times I'm just gonna do it I'm scared but courage is taking the action when you're scared and doing it anyways and that's what she did because the girl is scared of fish but she swam all through Pablo Escobar's crashed plane with her snorkel and saw all the beautiful fish. So very proud of her because um, we often call her our fearless leader, you know, but she's not fearless, but she is willing to do the things anyways. Um, but that's just what I would tell y'all. Whatever you've got in your heart that you're dreaming about, dream it, go after it hard as you can go, but leave room for it to be expanded because there is more. There is so much more. So that's all. I got, can I add one one last thought? Always. I yes, mean, go. I didn't take notes. So uh, I was the thought I had earlier today was um, today's goal is where your feet stand tomorrow. So what seems what could look out of reach is going to be exactly where you're planted tomorrow, and then you'll have a higher goal and a higher goal and a higher goal. So just keep keep going after it. Don't quit. You done? I'm done. Okay, go, Brittany. So good. Thank you, Emily and Jeremy. All right, so now it's time to hear from Mr. Wonderful. So that's how I'm marketed online. <laughs> and one day I do hope to live up to that name behind the scenes. So y'all just continue to support me in that endeavor. Um, I would say, you know, when she first, when Brittany first started this business, um, it was not the first one she obviously had attempted uh, to help support uh, with a single income family. Um, she was already an emerald by the time I finally decided this was a legit business. So, I mean, we're talking to Jewel income and it took me actually attending convention for the first time to just see this is legitimate. Um, even though the, the income was already coming in, you know, um, I didn't fully appreciate or truly be able to see, you know, just how big of an opportunity uh, this company offered uh, my wife and by extension, our family. So definitely blessed um, for, for many years now with, with her income. It's continued to go up um, and for that, I'm grateful. Um, the trip. Definitely blown away with it. Um, you know, all, all these trips that Plexus definitely puts together, um, they're always impressive. Um, I've enjoyed, you know, every one that I've attended. Um, and so, again, going into this trip with that, you know, thought process of, you know, they, they put on great, great shows, great events, great trips, great experiences, you know, high expectations in a sense on one hand, but at the same time, you know, a confidence in knowing that, Plexus has got it together and they know what they're doing and they know how to, you know, reward their people, take care of their people and show their people how much they do appreciate them. And that was definitely something we truly seen and experienced on this trip. Um, again, from as soon as we landed um, and we're walking to the airport, we're getting our luggage and stuff, we walk outside and then here's our, our VIP um, driver waiting on us. Um, just the details that they, you know, uh, made sure to check off um, to make us feel at home, um, you know, we're in this uh, party bus, we go to the resort, um, enjoy a, an evening together, um, seeing the, the scene of sights. And then again, the next morning, they come to pick us up, same people. Um, so familiarity, you know, that, which is important, you know, um, building a relationship there. Um, so I appreciate that. And so we, we pull up to the, to the um, uh, I was about to say boat. So forgive me on that. It was definitely not a boat. Um, we're talking about a very nice yacht and it's just blown away with, you know, just its grandeur, its elegance. Um, and again, just you walk up to it, you get in and then it's just the bar keeps going higher and higher and higher. Um, just like I said, just the, the extreme attention to detail from everyone on that crew, um, to the ones who were, 
you know, continue with you um, to even the ones that you hardly ever saw, unless you just quickly turned your head real quick and saw them slip by because they're taking care of some things that need to be addressed to make sure that your experience is phenomenal. Um, never once um, saw any crew member, you know, um, have have a less than stellar, a grateful attitude um, for themselves and even towards you. Um, they truly were just as grateful to be on that boat um, and just, you know, enjoying our company as we did theirs. So um, this trip was definitely something that I um, am very proud of um, and with my wife because it's just, you know, again, I believe it's something that, that she has earned um, and definitely has um, kind of been a nod to everything she's done um, these past several years. Um, and, and, and just to also show that when she first started out, you know, it was, she was all in, she was committed and it wasn't because she saw all these prizes. It wasn't because she saw all the shiny shimmering things. It was just because she saw the value in the business and in the company. Um, and, and she was committed. And then to see, you know, what all they continue to do to continue to elevate um, our, our, our company and in, in, in the process just continue to um, just bring our families up. And so um, every bit of it was, was, I would say, magical in a sense, you know. Um, got to see my wife just kind of relax, you know, kind of turn off in, in, in the sense of the business mode and truly just enjoy the moment. And it was a beautiful thing to see her, you know, just, you know, let her hair down. Um, um, and not have to be on go mode. Um, and it was definitely a blessing to see her um, truly take in the experience as well. That's That was, I think, my biggest takeaway was just watching her truly enjoy the trip. And that made my heart full as well. So, um, I mean, it's attainable, y'all. Um, husbands, I mean, again, for me, my wife was already enrolled by the time I finally decided to really jump in and be full full on with the, with the company. Um, don't wait till then, you know, you be with her now, you know, it doesn't matter where, where your wife is in this thing. If she started last week, if, if she's on right now and she's on, on the fence and she's not decided yet, and she's you know, listening to us right now, support her, you know, do the homework, look into it. Um, you know, browse the website, talk to some of the other guys, um, support her because I'm telling you right now, your support will mean the most. doesn't matter who else she talks to. If you look her in the eye and say, I believe in you. I mean, listen, she can put hell out with a little rose. So that's how valuable you are to your wife. So um, definitely, definitely uh, support her. That's all I got. That was so good. See why he's called Mr. Wonderful? Now y'all see. So sweet. That was a good day. Yeah, good job. You forgot to turn my prompter on, by the way. <laughs> so that was like, I actually. That was just off heart. the hip. <laughs> well, we're impressed. All right. Well, thank you, babe. That was so sweet. So it's my turn. And whenever I, when I see somebody accomplishing something that inspires me, or I just think like, wow, how did they do that? That's always the question I have is how did they do that? And so I, I mean, this, this trip represents a huge accomplishment and milestone in my place's business. And it is a reward for leadership. And so I, I wanted to reflect because I've been in this company for 11 years and I did want to know like what, what I wanted to remember where I started and the feelings that I felt then and what I worried about and what my fears were and, you know, the challenges that I've overcome to get here, how hard I've worked. Like, I, I did want to reflect so that I could fully understand what it took to get there and so that I could communicate that to other people. But 11 years ago, when I was a silver ambassador, I, was, I pulled out my um, prayer journal the other day, but I was reading this in my prayer journal from a long time ago. But 11 years ago, I was praying for provision because my husband was about to lose his job. And he did actually lose his job. And I was also praying for help with my health habits. Like I, the Lord was convicting me about not taking care of my body. 
And so, but I mean, I just ate, like, I didn't know anything about nutrition. I wasn't exercising. I was just in my late twenties. I had four kids at the time. I was definitely uncomfortable in my own skin, had a lot of digestive issues, was a slave to sugar cravings. And I just was not like, I knew something was off and I knew that my habits were going to lead to like, not places that I would want to be in my health. So I, I, the Lord was working on my heart about, it. like, I literally put it in my prayer journal. Like I need help with this. I feel trapped. That's what I wrote. And so I'm praying for provision. I'm praying for help with my health. Plexus comes into my life. And to me, it's looking like, okay, this seems like maybe this is what I've been praying for. Is this the Lord answering prayers? And so I was willing to give it a shot. I could definitely see the opportunity there. And I knew what the people at the top were making. In no way did I think that I would be able to do that. But this is what I wrote as a silver ambassador. I'm just going to read this to you. This was several months in. I probably had been working the business maybe six months at the point at the time I wrote this and I was a silver. So I wrote, I pray that you would give me wisdom on what to say. I don't know. I don't want to be a bother to people. And I have a fear that is crippling me that I won't be able to be a leader to people. And I am tired of facing rejection. So that was me working through my fears, my self-doubt, my like worrying about what people were going to think of me and my fear of failure and my fear of success. Because I, I said, I literally said, this fear is crippling me that I won't be able to lead people. And so that I look back on that and I just think it's kind of like um, a first time mom, like when you first get pregnant with your first baby. And you're literally laying there at night worried about how you're going to pay for that child's college education or wedding or who they're going to marry. You know, like that was me like thinking way ahead. Like, I just don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. If I were to go to the top or grow this business, I just don't know if I'd be able to handle it. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could, you know, deal with the pressure of all these people having expectations of me to help them be successful. I just don't know. I had never been in a leadership role like anything and uh, other than teaching Sunday school and being a mother. Those were the leadership roles I had possessed. So I just, I didn't know what I didn't know. I, I had no idea what I would be good at or if I could be good at this. I, I was an introvert. I didn't really have people skills. I didn't know many people because I had always been a stay at home mom didn't have a big network, and lived in the middle of nowhere. So all the odds were stacked against me, but I was willing. And I, w I, mean, I was just willing to work, work, and I was willing to learn. And so those are the things that I did. So it started with learning how to sell the product. That's what I started with. And once I got good at that, I learned how to take good care of my customers so that they would love their products and keep ordering. And then I learned how to turn customers into business builders. And then eventually I had a team and I found myself being a leader and I didn't really know how to do that. And so I just read books and I watched videos and I took courses and I just did whatever it took to learn. Because I, when I started this, I didn't know how any more than if you're going to be a brain surgeon, you would know how to perform brain surgery before you went and got an education, right? Well, this is the same thing. Like I just knew I didn't know things that I needed to know to be successful. So I just went out and, and learned and meanwhile, put the work in. And also my heart has always been glorify God in my business. Like whatever I'm going to do, I want to do it with excellence because God is excellent. And I believe that's what he expects. I'm not going to just, you know, halfway do something. I believe that I should be a good steward of whatever God has given me, whether it's my health or my time or my marriage, my parenting, my finances, but definitely my business. And so I've just tried to build the business in a way that I believe would honor the Lord and be a reflection of his character. And so when I was on this trip and we're in the washing machine and I'm laying in that, that clear water, feeling that sand in my toes that was like powder, it was like soft powdery sand that I'd never experienced before. And the water's all in my hair. I'm just like looking up at the sky and just 
everything around me is new and I just, I didn't, I never imagined it. I didn't even know anything like that existed, but I, here I am experiencing it as a reward for just really just trying to be obedient. And so all I could feel was gratitude. I just had the deepest gratitude because I know that anybody can. I truly believe that anybody who's willing to put the work in, learn the skills, they can do it. And and I just know that I know where I came from. I know how I started. And to, to see how the Lord has just blessed it, because I've really just tried to be obedient and not saying I've done it perfectly, because obviously I have to battle my flesh daily. But so I have not done it perfectly. And I have failed forward more times than I've succeeded. But if the, anybody who's willing to do those things can be a star diamond and it just, you start where you're at and you just build upon it and you keep going and you just determine you're not going to quit and you just show up each day and you be consistent, even when you don't feel like it and you just determine you're going to do the best that you can with what God has given you. So that's what I did. That's how I ended up here. It's not been an easy journey, but it's just been a worth it journey, um, especially just experiencing what I did this last week. I'm telling y'all, I just, I, I didn't know things like this were, they existed. And I, I felt like that every part of the trip. And so I just was deeply grateful. I enjoyed every single part of it. I Like Anthony said, I definitely was able to relax on this trip. And I realized that I have not done that in years. Uh, it's been years since I have fully like unplugged, like not like my kids were not there. So I was able to turn mom brain off. I didn't have to make decisions other than what drink would I like right now? You know, like I, I didn't have to decide even what I was going to eat. Like they, they provided, there was a private five-star chef on the boat the whole time he cooked all of our meals and appetizers and we didn't even have to decide what we wanted like it, he brought it all to us and every bit of it was amazing and so I didn't have to make any decisions I just was fully relaxed in the deepest gratitude and left feeling so inspired because my my vision was expanded like just being surrounded by so much beauty and just seeing what actually is possible things that I didn't know were even available before just being exposed to it, I, it just made me think so much bigger. And it definitely made me feel energized, like ready to come home and pour into my team and, and mentor them and help them get to where I'm at. And that really has always been my heart, to help others get to where I'm at. Whether I was a silver, a gold, or a star diamond, I, I just see what's possible for people because, like I said, I know where I came from. And I just know that if I can do it, then whoever is willing can also. So that was my experience. And I'm very thankful. I'm just very thankful for this company. I, I think there's there's a few things in my life that, like I had a general idea of what I wanted. And like, as far as like wisdom for criteria for picking things, um, but but I didn't fully know like that God would over provide so that I got way more than what I even would have asked for. One of those things is my husband. And the other thing is this company, Plexus, because it's a solid company. Like network marketing companies come and go. We see that all the time. I wouldn't have known what to look for in a stable, solid company other than the fact that they were debt-free. That spoke to me and I could tell that the leadership was special and the culture was special, but I wouldn't have known all of the details of what to look for in a business or in a company and things like that. And God just provided it. And so I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to Plexus. I'm definitely grateful to my husband for his support. I'm grateful to my team because obviously I wouldn't be here without my team. So he's just brought me really amazing people to work with. So that's it. I'm just grateful. I'm excited about moving forward and the future. I'm excited about the future of all of you on this call. For those of you who are all in, just where you're going to be at a year from now, five years from now, 
And I encourage you to write your prayers down, whatever your biggest fears and struggles are right now, write them down because it is so encouraging to look back over the journey and just remember what you were feeling and thinking at that time and just how God just answers the prayers and he comes through. So, all right, that's it. Everybody go earn a yacht trip. Okay. We're supposed to answer questions. Were there any questions? No, a, a lot, lot of here. excitement and inspiration. Everybody is loving all the things, but no questions. Okay. Well, that's it then y'all. Good night. Bye.